Hi everyone, welcome back to this uh, game guide video for Mods Online 2. This is Fun Gaming Connoisseur and we are playing on version 1.0.8.7. Okay, so today I just want to uh, talk about guilds. Now, guilds are a very big part of this game and, and uh, so naturally I think when you're a new player, um, when you start playing this game you you know in the back of your mind you're thinking about joining a guild at some stage now the thing about guilds is that um, it's very important to choose the right guild um, to when you're starting out because choosing the wrong guild can uh, set you off on a, on a bad footing and um, you know it's so it's very important that you uh, choose carefully now, there's a lot of different types of guilds in this game, so I'm going to talk just generally about all of them. Now, to simplify, to make things a bit simpler, simplify things, I'm going to divide them broadly into, into two uh, main groups, and, and then I'll discuss the, uh, the, all the ones in between. So, on one, ex on one end of the spectrum, you have the empire building guilds, the uh, those guilds who are, who are heavily into territory control or TC. Now TC is not in the game yet, as of the time of this video, but it is coming um, in the I think I believe in the uh, coming months. And so the Empire building guilds they are naturally going to be PvP focused. They are going to be guilds who are into PvP and you. PvP will be a, be a heavy part of the uh, guild um, activities, and uh, and but even within this group, um, you have different uh, guilds who will PvP, uh, who will who may be selective in who they PvP with, or they may choose to uh, just be indiscriminate in who they PK, and so one. Uh, you know, a very common uh, group that nat naturally comes to mind is RPK. So RPK has been a, you know, it's one of those household names in Mortal Online 2. You know, they were around back in the first game. And so RPK, I think they have their own politics, you know, with different guilds. And, but generally speaking, I think they would um, just... PK anyone they see, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I think they do PK. I think they were. Um, you know, I heard that they were at you know the Steam launch back in 2015 when Mo Mortal Online One launched on Steam, and so th so they were there to PK all the new players who who spawned in Morinker, because that's I think that's where SV uh, dumped all the new players. They dumped them in in Morinker, and RPK proceeded to basically gank and PK all of them, and most of, and as a result, I think a lot of them, a lot of the new players left after that. So that was what I heard. Um, now I did, I did encounter a few RPK players at, at Moranker, so there may be some truth to this, um, to what I've heard. But, but generally speaking, that that is what is um, the, uh, you know, that that is generally what has been said about RPK. And now there are other empire building guilds that have their own enemies and friends so they may or may not PK uh, new players on site. So so even within one group of um, guilds there is a spectrum. You know there's a, a spectrum within a spectrum <laughs> within each group of guilds. So that is one uh, one end of the spectrum of guilds. Now on the other end of the spectrum you have the anti-RPK, you have the um, or what they call the ARPK guilds. So these guilds are ones that uh, that I would say uh, generally speaking they play as the good guys or try to play as the good guys. They try to defend uh, innocent players from the RPK guilds. So these would be people like the Wardens, um, but you know, even within this group of ARPK guilds, 
there is a spectrum as well. So just like the RPK guilds, the empire building PVP guilds, um, there are, there is a spectrum. So some ARPK guilds would focus on defending anyone they see, any innocent player. And then there would be those who defend a specific, specific group of people, maybe their allies or their friends and the rest they will just ignore or they may be uh, selective and they may choose to intervene at some cir circumstances and other times they will just they may even choose to uh, engage in PvP against people that they uh, they decide to act against so so you have different groups so uh, now the way to find out uh, what each group uh, believes in and what their uh, and what their core values are you it would be best if you went to check out their uh, guild recruitment page on the mo2 forums or you can join their discord if they have a public discord channel and you can go and talk to the guild leadership and uh, and find out whether the the particular guild that you're looking at is the right fit for you so like i said you know it's important to choose a guild that aligns with your values aligns with your uh, play style and so forth now there is a uh, like I mentioned there is a in between there's a all the other guilds that don't fit into the empire building uh, PvP guilds and they don't fit into the ARPK guilds these are the the, uh, the guilds in between that uh, don't fit into the, one of the, these the two main uh, big groups so these would be guilds like um, crafting guilds, um, uh, guilds that specialize in uh, trans transporting and uh, financial services, uh, providing certain financial services such as uh, banking and loans. And so, you know, the guilds that come immediately to mind are guilds like the West Milan Bank run by Ruben Ibaruri and the Northern Bank run by, uh, I think this guy called Raknor, R-A-K-N-O-R. And so you, so you have these types of guilds and you also have um, just guilds like myself who are not really interested in PVP at all. You know, I'm, I have no, <laughs> I don't really have an interest in PVP, although uh, by default, by, by nature, every guild in this game will be subject, subjected to PvP. So it doesn't matter whether you are interested in PvP or not. Uh, you are in this game, so you have to be prepared for PvP at any time, anywhere. So whether you're a crafting guild or banking guild or whatever, you have to be prepared for PvP. There is no option. There is no, um, you know, toggle <laughs> for PvP. It is on permanently by uh, you know, it's, it's built in, it's baked into the game, so you can't avoid it at all. And there is no safe zone, there is no toggle for PvP. Um, so you have guilds like my, my own that, um, that are, you know, uh, you know, into helping new players and, uh, and I, you know, I'm very much a, you know, I would say I'm a bit of a ARPK guild, but I don't really consider myself to fit into the ARPK sort of tag, you know, um, you know, instead I would, I would, uh, categorize myself as the in-between, you know, the, those guilds that uh, are interested in doing their own thing, you know, they're not interested in PVP, um, but instead they're interested in pursuing their own goals. And the way this, the guild system in this game is, um, is structured it actually allows a lot of different uh, types of guilds to flourish so you know unlike the mortal unlike the first game mortal online one you can actually be a you know a, a peaceful guild so if you want to just be a crafting guild you know a guild that uh, does crafting and provides um, you know crafted items to other players you know sell them on the trade broker then you can do that you can be a peaceful guild that that you know doesn't engage in pvp but instead um, pursues their own goals in this game now like i said you know i'm simplifying things for for new players but 
in actual fact, um, there's a you know the types of guilds that you'll find in this game are very very uh, they're, they're quite varied. So uh, you'll find that you know the longer you play this game, you might find that uh, many guilds don't fit into any of the categories that I've described in this video. You know, like I said, I'm only trying to simplify things and make it easier for new players to uh, come to grips with um, what types of guilds that they will encounter in this game. But um, but in actual fact, a lot of guilds they are quite um, you know they're they're not black and white if if I can put it that way. It's very much different shades of grey. So. Just because a guild might say that they are ARPK, it does not necessarily mean that they will be uh, necessarily a, a white knight, good guy kind of guild. They might have their own little preferences and, and little quirks that uh, that might that might make them a little bit dangerous uh, to uh, you, you, if you're looking for an ARPK guild. So you know, don't don't take things for granted and don't assume anything. But instead, the best way to know what a guild stands for is to uh, is is to find out what other people will say about them and and what other people have um, encountered, uh, you know, in, in their encounters with the with players from that guild. And so that way, in, and in that way, you and also if you get to know some of the players in those guilds, you will then you'll get get a better understanding of what that guild really stands for. So. Um, so that's how you find out what a guild is really like. Okay, so hope this video helps you and hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. But for now, thank you for watching. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur. Take care and have a good day. Oh.